For our poodle, I've taken a 260, inflated about 14 inches of it, leaving about an 8 to 9 inch tail. A little squeeze to soften it, make about a 3 to 3 and a half inch bubble. And then once you get it twisted, take it, bend it, and squeeze from the side just a little bit so you get a bit of an L shape there. That will make it easier in a moment. Now we're going to make his head make about a one inch bubble. Another bubble just maybe slightly smaller. Then we do another bubble the same size as this one here. And then twist those three bubbles together. Now we're going to take this one long one that we put the bend in and poke the nozzle through the hole we've created there. Push it most of the way through, not quite, well, not quite all the way. Oh, you'll get that effect. There we go. So there's our poodle's little head. Now we're going to make a little small neck. And for his legs, he's actually going to have feet. So make a little small, about a three-quarter inch bubble. Then a little bitty small, maybe quarter to half inch bubble. Another bubble about the same size. So you get two little small ones. Then we need another bubble the same size as this one here. And then twist all four of those bubbles together. And that makes his little front legs. Now we'll make a little body. And then we'll repeat another set of legs just like the front legs. So we'll need about a one inch bubble, a little bitty small bubble, another little bitty small bubble, and then another one inch bubble. Twist all four of those together just like that. There's his back legs. Now with what you have left, we need to take, grab the bubble in your hand, and then you want to kind of close off the uninflated part so that it won't inflate. Leave only the end of it exposed so that when you squeeze, you can force some air out on the end of it, and then pinch it at the base of it so no air can go back, and squeeze it a couple times to soften it, and now it will stay. And there's your basic little poodle.